grams. of silver chloride. Try this problem. Okay. We want to try to um, use that same notation and approach that we were using last time. We'll see if there's any new issues that pop up.
Costa. Uh, I'm to so far. I was just, I realized we don't really need it. Yeah, that's true. In this case, we're not going to use the table. Okay, so let's uh, catch up. So we're both all in the same uh, place so far. Now, it was good that both of you saw that the equation wasn't balanced. Um, I didn't mention that, but you always have to check to make sure the equation is balanced, and it's not. So you went through and balanced it, and I think you got the right uh, answer. So I didn't, it doesn't really matter who we start with, because everyone only appears in one place. But we might say here that we have one of these. And if we have one of these, one cal excuse me, one calcium over here would lead to one calcium over here. And here I have two chlorines on the left, so I need to have two chlorines on the right. Mm -hmm. But that gives me two silvers on the right. So I need two silvers on the left. Uh, that gives me two nitrate groups. Well, I do have two nitrate groups here. The one thing we didn't talk about last time is a group that's in parentheses. But I think both of you uh, figured out how to handle that here. So here um, we have one times two or two nitrate groups. This represents two nitrate groups, and here we have two nitrate groups as well. So I think you both came up with the right stoichiometric coefficients. One and two, and one and two. All right, and then it looked like you figured out your starting information. So what is the information that we're starting with here? change, we can have a change in uh, the end moles for... Uh, right, so I'm actually looking for one of the specific things we talked about last time. Um, what, what's the, uh, remember you're going to be doing the unit conversion and I'm just asking what number are we going to start with oh, in our okay. chain? Uh, we're going to start with, um, we're going to start with moles, right? What did you actually start with? I, I, started, with, I started with grams. Yeah, how many grams? Don't we want uh, ah, right. our target? Okay, but well that's a little bit of a semantic issue. We're starting with the grams and making that into moles. But we, uh, we can't start with moles because we weren't given that. Right. Yeah. Maybe I should call that, instead of the starting information, the given information. What's the given information? Well, it's the 72 grams. So that's where we have to start. So we can write that down. That's where we have to start our process. All right, uh, this is 72 grams of what? Uh, silver chloride. So very important to write down the substances. We've been talking about how important it is to write down not just the mass, but also the substance. OK, and now we have to figure out the next conversion ratio. So why don't we try uh, going back to work here to figure out right. what these should be. Well, let's see, where, do you have, where have you written down your work? Ah, so that's going to give you some trouble, because notice you don't have enough room for yeah, the whole I thing. I realized yeah. that after I got down. Yeah, so you might want to start a blank piece of paper that gives you some more room. And I think we've also left out something important that we talked about last time, which was writing down the target units. What are our target units on this problem? Moles of silver chloride. Is that what we want? Now, what I mean by that is the ultimate target units we're going to use to answer the question. Grams, grams. of calcium chloride. Is that right? How many, yep, there you go. How many grams of calcium chloride? So we also saw how useful that was to write that over here with plenty of room between them. Grams of calcium chloride. Um, all right, so before that we should do, before we do any conversions, because we don't know what conversions to do unless we know our target units and our starting units. So I didn't really define these terms last time, so maybe I should be clearer about this. The target units are the units that we want our answer to be in. And the starting information is, what I meant by that is the given information. What's the piece of information that we were given? Because that's what we have to start with, what we were given. We were given the 72 grams, and now we need to convert that with who knows how many conversions until we get to this. OK, well, now let's start trying to write down as many conversion ratios as we need. So I'll keep working that out on paper. 